The application server demos opens on the main page which covers grid components and options for grids. There is a second page we can go to by clicking on Go to UX Components. This page features UX components and various options. If we look at maps, the first option is a marker location on a map. If we take a look at the help here, we can see we have a list control that has static data, data for various airports. We have an on-click event, which will place a marker on the map for the selected airport. And it also has some other information that does this with a JavaScript function. We can also type in an address and use another function to go find that particular address on the map. So as we select various addresses, we will see marker being placed on the map, and it is an animated marker. There's also information about this particular area. If we type in an address, such as Dallas, Texas, it will find Dallas, Texas on the map. We can also map multiple addresses at the same time. This is based on a video, control, video called Map Control. Note that the help is in the iOS style, which we normally use for mobile devices, which gives a different effect. We have a text area that has a list of addresses to mark. And then when we click on that, it will find all those addresses on the map. So we type in all the addresses to fill them in. And we view the map. It shows all the various addresses that we have put in this list on the map. We also have a UX component showing how to use a map object to plot a route. So here we have a start and ending address. So we can type in some addresses. We go from Boston to Dallas. We can plot the route. It will show the route on the map. At the bottom here, we also have a section to show or hide the directions so we, so we can show the directions to drive from Boston to Dallas. We also have a little button here which allows us to reverse the start and the finish. So now the start is Dallas and the finish is in Boston. US components also can do charting. First chart we will look at is a product pie chart. This is a sample shown in videos. If we click on the help, we can see what video pertains to this, a simple pie chart. And we fill in information from a country and the top number of products. As we change either of the values in these drop-downs, we will repopulate the chart and be refreshed. So we go to a different country. We'll get a different chart. If we show the top five, again, we'll repopulate the chart immediately. Another type of chart we're going to show is an exploding pie chart with information about the chart. Interesting feature here, we open up the help. We're actually combining two different uh, groups of videos, having to create an exploding pie chart and also to add a floating message. And this uses JavaScript events to place a floating message next to the cursor. In this particular case, we've adjusted the position of that floating message because this is operating inside of a tabbed UI. This page also has some notes. We're trying to show hide section. We click on this. We can see we've animated this using HTML5 effects. So we get a shadow effect. And we can show and hide the various notes. As we place the cursor over our sections, it will give us information about the pie slice. If we click on a slice, it will explode the pie. The chart is based on a customs uh, series. We can also show different types of charts. Here we have some variety of charts. Again, these are from a video on how to create multiple data set, multiple data series charts. We're showing multiple data series on a single chart. We have the side by side, which is a bar vertical grouped. And then we have multiple lines, which is simply a spline or a line chart. As you can see, we're looking at various data all on one chart. We can also mix the types. In this particular case, we're showing a bar vertical grouped and a spline area all on the same chart. 